Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie and we are on part two of our South Island adventure. Yeah, so we've come to Hamner Springs. We're here for the next three days. We've got loads planned, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah looking forward to it. Loads of fun stuff, so mm -hmm. come along and check out Hamner Springs with us. Yeah. It's our first day here in Hamner Springs today and we're in for an absolute scorcher. Apparently 27, 26 degrees, <laughs> so pretty hot. Not a breath of wind. Um, so first things first, we're gonna go to the pools today. It's probably quite a hot day to go to the, the hot pools here, um, but the kids are hanging out for it and they've been pestering us. So we'll go to the pools. Um, there are six water slides here and 20 something thermal pools in the pool complex. So. We'll go hit that up and then tomorrow it's going to be a bit cooler so we'll do some biking and some of the walks and things tomorrow. I might actually leave this camera behind as well because I'm not sure of the security at the pools like, and also filming with the camera with the microphone and things on it. Looks kind of sus right so I'll take the GoPro see if we can't get some shots on the water slide and then um, yeah when we're back I'll uh, show you around the top 10 campground some of the facilities here and go from there. How cool is this? So the pools are, a lot of the pools are like this, they're just rock pools, different temperatures. There's adults only thermal pools over there and then ones like this that are like 35-ish degrees, some are a bit warmer, some are a bit cooler. Awesome. Nice and safe for the kids, they just paddle around, it's only ankle deep and sweet. Alright, well we had an awesome day at the pools. I didn't film too much, sorry. Um, I always feel odd filming at swimming pools and I don't know how other people feel about it, so I just got a couple of clips, sorry. But um, yeah, we had a really good time there. Kids really enjoyed it. We got way too much sun. Um, it's interesting swimming at, when you're outnumbered, like Chelsea and I, obviously three kids, two parents. you got to have eyes all over the kids all the time. Um, Chelsea's parents were a huge help and kind of took them and Chelsea and I could go on the water slide and things, but yeah, being outnumbered <laughs> when, you, when they're young is fun but if you had like eight nine ten year old kids you know teenagers Hamner would be awesome just let them loose for the day see you later see you at five o'clock um it is open till nine i think those pools and you can get like a uh pass where you can come and go throughout the day it's a little bit more expensive but you can maybe go back after dinner for a soak if you didn't have kids or something like that so yeah pretty good pretty good fun harvey how do you find Hamner pools you like them yeah what did you like what was your favorite thing the hydra slides and the little kids slides yeah. so home for the next three nights is the hamner springs top 10 we decided to treat ourselves stay in a paid campground 
Um, there is other camping here in Hamner as well. So about five, six k's out of town is an NZMCA park if you're an NZMCA member. And across the road from it is actually Freedom Camping down by the river. So it's quite nice. Um, we decided to stay at the top 10. Uh, we actually stayed here last New Year's as well. We didn't film it, but it was absolutely packed. We had a little break from the old filming. But we stayed here, squashed down the back and with all the tenters. Um, but out the back of the uh, campground is a little stream called Dog Stream. And that is the start of the Hamner Trail bike the bike trails um, you can join up to the Hamner forest there's bike trails in there so we thought if we stay at the campground here we can just unhitch our bikes and go straight in there rather than fearing bikes backwards and forwards we also walked up to the pools this morning um, so as you know it's about 500 meters 10 minutes up the road to get to the actual township so yeah I'll uh, show you around the campground all right so this is our site here or I should say our shanty town because of all our towels um, Chelsea's parents are just there in their camper van so nice big grass space in the middle sorry there's someone uh, water blasting behind us but the main reason we chose this site was that over here is the playground um, trampoline sand pit so we can sit over here sit in the sun have a beer and watch the children play over here <laughs> it's been pretty handy I think if it was really peak times like Christmas and New Year's you wouldn't want to be this close to the playground but works for us um, so they're quite big sites big concrete sites I kind of cut through here did a sneaky through here but Big sites, power, water, everything on site. There's some hot tubs, I'll show you the kitchen and toilets over here in a sec. Um, but yeah, quite a nice place. Seems to be one of those um, campgrounds that they're always doing work on, they're always improving. There's kind of a mixture of older bathroom blocks and some really nice new ones. Really nice sort of um, paved, sealed sites and really good planting, like everything's planted out. The tent sites are down the back there, you got motels over here. Yeah, really nice actually. And not too busy. We're what the 16th of January now and when we were here on the 1st of December last year oh, sorry 1st of January last year for New Year's absolutely full like chock-a-block <laughs> I think over here these hot tubs are the stoked ones um, stoked is a New Zealand company that makes stainless steel uh, hot tubs stainless steel on the inside with wood around the outside and they are beautiful they do like a some wood fired ones some sparkle style electric ones combo ones as well they do like a hybrid one uh, but they're really nice we wouldn't mind one on our property at some stage kind of expensive but yeah stoked if you're watching send me a hot tub so they have quite a few of these barbecue areas out throughout the place with quite tidy barbecue edition nice and clean and they all have gas fired pizza ovens as well so if you are ever staying here bring some pizza bases whack them in that thing so I suppose if we were going to rate this campground like we did in the last video for is it scenic? It's pretty scenic. It's nice here. There's water. There's a dump station. The access is fine for long vehicles. Um, you can kind of pick and choose your sites as well if you've got a longer caravan. We picked this one because we thought, ah oh, yeah, we'll get it in, you know, easy. Um, pets, you can't have pets here. So that's the only downside. Um, and you obviously got to pay for it. <laughs> Maybe that should have been a star as well going to be very complicated the system by the end of it but yeah pretty nice place to stay um yeah well, well well worth the money for us and for the kids to just go off to the playground for hours on end um we're going to chill out this afternoon and just sit in the shade i think recoup from the pools we've got way too much sun this morning and tomorrow i think we're going to hit some biking some mini golf we're thinking about going on the jet boat here as well so yeah stay tuned we'll um we'll hit some biking tomorrow So down here behind the campground is a little reserve called Dog Stream Reserve. Um, cool little river the kids can play in, like a little stream. Um, dog stream, I guess. And also a fairy door walk. So there's all these fairy doors that kids have painted, written messages in, um, put amongst the trees down here. And it's just, yeah, nice sort of, I don't know, don't know how long the walk is, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Thousands of these little doors in here, pretty cool. quite a nice little walk through here actually you got the stream kind of running down here and yeah fairy doors nice and cool I think when we arrived it was 26 degrees Celsius so pretty warm for us and tomorrow is supposed to be like two or three degrees hotter again so yeah it's nice to find some shade
Morning guys, it is a bit of a cloudy, cooler type day today so we are off to do some biking, just a quick little 6k loop quite close to the campground, hopefully there will be a bit of shade. So we've just stopped off to do a little walk. The bush behind um, the campground, basically where the, the easy rider track we're doing goes right around this bush and that's the Hanma Heritage Forest. And there's all these old, you know, hundreds of year old trees in here. Pretty neat, but there's a sculpture walk you can do. It's a 30 minute loop track. Uh, you can't bike it, so you can leave your bikes at the entrance to the loop. Jump back on your bikes and carry on. So yeah, we're gonna carry on with the bike trail. It's a bit slow going with Harvey um, and the kids, but yeah, there are some other bike trails across the road. I think there's 22 in total, something like that. But they get, you know, easy, medium, advanced, whatever the <laughs> advanced expert. But yeah, Chelsea and I might sneak over there later on and do some of the harder trails because, yeah, we're going about 5Ks an hour with the kids. <laughs> so this is the Hamner Heritage Forest here. Bath Street's where the campground is and the easy rider track goes right around to where we are here. And then there's that forest walk. Um, you can cross the road just over here behind me as well and go onto all the other tracks but uh, there's just a couple here easy rider and perseverance but pretty good track 6k loop back to the campground nice and easy for the kids So when you're walking around the Hamner Township, if you're into your history, there's the old Queen Mary Hospital. A uh, hospital that was built here for the First World War that then burnt down and they rebuilt it for the Second World War. But they sent patients here uh, from the war um, because of the thermal water here and the, the sort of healing properties uh, of the thermal water here, which is what heats the pools, which are literally, you can hear kids screaming right next door. But they've left it kind of it's all restored kind of and preserved you can look through the windows you can't actually go inside any of these buildings but they do sort of welcome the public to walk through this area and have a look it's really nice nice trees and they've still got stretches and wheelchairs and all sorts through the windows of these kind of beautiful buildings but it's well worth a look if you're into your history Well, we had a pretty nice stay here in the end. Um, went through for a wander through town. We didn't end up doing any more biking. Um, everyone's been pretty pooped. This, it's been like 30 degrees here today, and so everyone's pretty hot and sticky and tired, and we needed to do laundry and that sort of thing. But yeah, nice little walk through town. We then took the kids next door to try and play mini golf. So next door to the campground here is a gold rush themed mini golf and an Aztec themed maze you can go on. We rocked up at four o'clock and said you know i'd like to play mini golf and the guy said i'm closing for the day so i'm not sure why i guess it's his place he can close when he wants but um it's light here until like 9 9 30 at night so i'm not sure why at four o'clock in the afternoon you're turning away a whole lot of paying customers oh well kids are pretty disappointed though because i said if we go for a big walk through town and through the hospital you saw the queen mary hospital i'll buy you an ice cream and take you to mini golf we've got an ice cream we didn't do mini golf um but yeah, it looks like we're in for rain now. Uh, it's actually Chelsea and I's anniversary, wedding anniversary tonight. So um, we're gonna ditch the kids with our babysitters and we're gonna head into town, have a quiet dinner. And um, yeah, tomorrow we're out of here, off to Reefton, probably in the rain by the looks of things. This uh, campground's actually been really nice though. Um, there's heaps of other kids running around and uh, the kids have just made some other friends. They've been off for hours on the um, jumping pillow. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty peaceful. We've just been chilling outside kids are running around it's probably a third full maybe a quarter capacity by the looks of all the empty sites so um it's kind of just the right amount of like 
happy with the kids running around and biking um, without there being too many cars and things but yeah really nice um, probably one of the more expensive top tens we've stayed at um, I think it was about four hundred dollars for us for the three nights maybe just under so pretty expensive but pretty convenient you know we literally walked to the pools we biked out the back of the campground today so swings and roundabouts I guess but it's been good for Chelsea's parents as well to um, have a bit of power you know and for us as well I suppose and uh, have a shower nice shower and do some laundry we did a whole lot of laundry today it's been through the dryer twice and it's still not dry though <laughs> five dollars each uh, round through the dryer and it's still not dry <laughs>